Telltale Batman is a Telltale style video game set in Gotham, where the player plays as both Bruce Wayne and as Batman. Now, Telltale games are not so much video games as they are interactive movies. Uh, essentially, they are just episodic movies with occasional quick time events and having the feature of allowing the player to make certain choices in game that affect the story in the long run. And they are quite enjoyable games with generally interesting stories. But the Telltale Batman game is not only an interesting story, but it actually came up with some great new additions to Gotham City and to Batman's world. Now some of these changes were quite simple, such as the Penguin not being a short deformed man, but instead just an ordinary man, which also made him a hell of a lot more relatable, at least in my opinion, and I much prefer the Penguin like this. But the best addition, also in my opinion, was what Telltale did with Bruce Wayne's parents. In the game is revealed that Thomas and Martha Wayne were not just billionaires who run most of Gotham's businesses, but in fact they run the criminal businesses of Gotham as well, and the image of them as Gotham's saviours is just a front for the media. Now it was mainly Thomas Wayne who was the gangster, but his wife was aware of his activities. But that still means that Bruce Wayne's father was a gangster, who was partnered with mob boss Carmine Falcone and Gotham Mayor Hamilton Hill and this group used their wealth and influence to gain more wealth and influence through any means necessary. Such as having Dr. Thomas Wayne commit his business rivals into Arkham Asylum if they didn't do as he says. Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. Our boys play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. They had them committed by injecting them with chemicals that made them go somewhat insane, and then they would use these little incidents to prove that they were insane and keep them locked up in Arkham Asylum. And Thomas Wayne did this to a lot of his rivals and was as corrupt as they come, which explains exactly how the Waynes were so rich and powerful. However, Bruce Wayne's mother felt that his father had gone too far and actually threatened to reveal his criminal dealings in order to stop him. And this worried his partner Hamilton Hill who got word of this. And so he decided that something had to be done and hired Joe Chill to murder the Waynes. All to protect himself, though he would later claim that he did it because he thought that the Waynes had gone too far. I took out Thomas Wayne. That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. But in truth, it was simple self-preservation. And I have to say that I think this was the greatest innovation in the Batman mythos in years. I absolutely love this idea and I think it's just genius. Bruce Wayne has always put his parents up on this pedestal as holier than thou saviors of Gotham. But that's not how people are. Saints just aren't real. True, there are saints in the world and in history, but every single one of them has skeletons in their closet as no one is perfect. And most of the saint stuff we hear is just propaganda and no one amasses a fortune like the Wayne family have without breaking a lot of laws and crossing a lot of people. They were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. So Martha and Thomas Wayne being a part of the criminal element of Gotham City not only makes perfect sense, but it also explains a lot about them. Not only how they got a lot of their money, but also why they were killed. It's always been explained as a random mugging, which isn't impossible as it does happen. But most muggings don't end up with the wealthiest people in a city being killed, unless it's a hit ordered by the Mafia. And the Waynes were very famous, so as soon as Joe Chill saw them, he knew who they were. So why would he kill them? They could make him a millionaire with a phone call, or he could kill them, and every cop in Gotham wouldn't rest till they had him in custody. After all, it's a sad fact of the world that nothing motivates the police like crimes against the rich and powerful. So Joe Chill being a mugger who killed them just doesn't really make any sense. 
Unless, of course, he wasn't a random mugger, but it was a hit taken out by the Mafia. And the knowledge of all this rocked Bruce Wayne to his core, as his parents were the driving force that started his crusade against crime, and all he has ever done has been done because of them. They are his rock that guides him and keeps him honest. But it turns out, they weren't quite as honest as he believed. And as devastating as it is to see Bruce Wayne like this, I must admit that it's bloody entertaining to watch, and it actually makes me respect the character a great deal more. Because after learning who his parents really were, it didn't change Bruce Wayne. It was difficult for him to accept and to overcome it, but he still decided to continue doing what's right and to continue being Batman, regardless of what his parents have done, as it's his life and not theirs. And I think this shows just how strong and determined Batman and of course Bruce Wayne can be. And I think that seeing all this happen actually strengthens his character. And I also feel that this change humanizes the Waynes in a great way, and it makes them seem more realistic, less like a comic book cliche, and more like real life people. Because every billionaire on the planet has done something crooked, and we all know it. And I think this addition to Batman's story was a brilliant move on the part of Telltale. And my only complaint is that it hasn't been added to the official canon of the Batman mythos, though hopefully one day it will. I also think it mirrors Batman's life in a way that his mother was willing to go to the police to stop Thomas Wayne and he got her killed, just as he does everything he can to stop crime in Gotham, and yet it mainly just ends up with him destroying his own life, even if he does help others. Though this does show where Batman gets his heroic streak from, he clearly takes more after his mother than he does from his father. That being said, she did know who her husband was and what he did, but she ignored it and did nothing, until he went too far. Now we don't know exactly what crime she was okay with, but because she didn't do anything, it does make her partially responsible for everything that her husband did. But what do you think of this twist to the Batman story? Do you think it was a good idea, or do you think it was a terrible idea? And how guilty do you think his mother actually is? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that's helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.